I'm Juliana and me and Gina are going to be introducing a new core segment, Eight is Enough. In this segment, you have to guess the celeb we are describing. Good luck! The first clue of the celebrity you're trying to guess is that this person is a female. Good afternoon, Yorktown, and welcome to the brand new episode of The Core. My name is Max, and today is Friday, January 13th, 2017. Let's start the show by looking at the afternoon weather conditions with our student meteorologist, Gianna. Hello Yorktown, I'm student meteorologist Gianna. It's right around 1 o'clock and the temperature outside is 43 degrees. As you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing clear blue skies and slight gusts of wind. Today appears to be a perfect day to go outside and play or maybe even have a nice picnic. Oh, as always, have yourself a wonderful day and let's take it back to the studio. The second clue is she used to have red hair but now she still has a little red hair and she has brown and blonde highlights. Thanks for that update, Gianna. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Gabby, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. Why did the picture go to jail? Because it was framed. What did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow, and until then, let's get back to you in the studio. The third clue about this person is that they're a singer slash actress. Thanks, Gabby. Now for all of the word lovers out there, we present you the word of the day. Hi, my name is Jack, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is infuriate. Infuriate is a verb. Infuriate is defined as to make very angry in rage. Madden and provoke are synonyms for infuriate. In a sentence, infuriate can be used like this. It infuriates most parents when their kids refuse to listen to them and treat them with disrespect. Infuriate, can you use it today? The fourth clue is this person has a sibling. Thanks kids. Now let's go to Cameron with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Cameron and today's true or false topic is the New York Rangers. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. The team began in 1926. True. They won the Stanley Cup in 1945. False. They won the Stanley Cup in 1940. Every time they score a goal, three blasts of the New York City fire engine wood horn. True. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. The fifth clue about this person is that they just came out with a brand new song. Thanks, kids. Now from the creative minds of Diana and Zach, it's today's stop motion short titled The Great Maze. The sixth clue is she used to be on two different TV shows. One was Victorious. Well done, kids. At String Middle School, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Today, we wanted to discuss how it feels to be respected. Maeve and Mitchell asked some kids to reflect on the topic. When I'm respected, I feel free of judgment. To be respected, like, it just makes you feel like you should be happy inside. I'm respected, I feel like a superstar. I'm respected, it feels good because I know the person's nice. It feels good to be respected. It feels nice to be respected. What it feels like to be respected is like a superhero. When I am respected, I feel trusted. When people respect me, it feels nice because I know they have my back. When someone respects me, I feel good in the inside that they respect me because I like when people do that. What it feels to be respected is uh, an amazing feeling when it is just amazing. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Martina with Today in History. Hello, my name is Martina, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this date in the year 1930, the first Mickey Mouse strip appeared. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on Mickey Mouse. The Mickey Mouse comic strip ran for 45 years. Mickey Mouse appeared in 130 films. This has been Today in History for January 13th. Now let's take it back to the studio. The seventh clue is she starred in a Broadway musical called 13. Thanks, kids. Now let's get ready to learn something interesting with today's how-to. Hi, my name is Jessica, and today we're going to teach you how to draw a cow. 
Step one, draw a rectangle with an oval on the end of it. Step two, draw a bigger rectangle next to the head. Step three, draw small squares for the feet. Step four, draw a crescent for the tail. Step five, draw triangles for horns and semicircles for the ears. Step six, draw black spots on the body. Step seven, draw two small dots for the eyes. Step eight, draw a smile and two ovals for the nose, and then you're done. The last and final clue, clue eight, about this person is that they live in Florida. Thanks, kids. Motivate is literally the desire to do things. We were wondering, what motivates you the most? Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. What motivates me to work hard is his friends and family. Myself. I'm motivated to work hard because I want to be proud of what I accomplish. That makes me work hard is getting good grades. Andy. My grandma. My dad. My mom. Motivates me to work hard is when I go home and my mom gets me a toy. Motivates me to work hard is being successful. What motivates me to work hard is my mom. The thing that motivates me to do things is the prize at the end. What motivates me to work hard is that I know I can be successful if I do good at everything. What motivates me to work hard is myself. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Matt with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Matt, and today's lesson is from science class. Today in science class, we learned about wind. One thing that causes wind is uneven heating on Earth. Wind travels from high air pressure to low air pressure. That's all from today's lesson. Now let's take it back to the studio. The mystery person is Ariana Grande. Thanks, Thanks for playing. That's our show for January 13th, 2017. We'd like to thank all the students who contributed to today's episode. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked today's episode. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Always remember to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Have a great day.